Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply advanced recording hotfix in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. In Microsoft Dynamics AX, uh, there are two uh, modes of recording. One is basic level of recording and other is advanced level of recording. If you're running Microsoft Dynamics AX R3 or CU7, the advanced recording hotfix is already installed with the installation of Microsoft Dynamics AX. But if you're uh, running Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 and you haven't applied the hotfix in order to get the advanced recording, only recording you will get is the base level, basic level recording, not the advanced level recording. So in this video, we're going to uh, learn how to apply that particular hotfix to get the advanced recording hotfix in place for Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. I have written down some steps for you. So first step we're gonna do is download the hotfix from Microsoft website and number two, that hotfix uh, uh, is uh, basically a uh, two part uh, hotfix. One is kernel, there's a kernel uh, hotfix and other is application hotfix. We need to uh, first install the kernel hotfix and then we will go, I'll show you in a second what I did and where, what the hotfix number is and everything. And uh, after that we will install the application hotfix. Once the installation of kernel and application hotfix is installed, because application hotfix, when you install it, it changes the model database. As soon as the model database changes, there are three things in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 um, you need to do in order for that to work properly. First is you need to compile the entire application. And after the uh, application compilation is done, then you need to compile into .NET framework sale. So after that is completed, we need to do the database sync. So let me show you real quick how I did it. This is my Microsoft Dynamics AX server and this is my client and what I did was I went ahead and downloaded the hotfix and I'm going to show you real quick where the hotfix is. Right here is Dynamics AX 2012R2 KB2863182. This is the hotfix that will uh, give us opportunity to record processes in Microsoft Dynamics AR2 in advanced mode. When you, uh, again, when you install a Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012R2, the, only the basic mode installation um, recording can be done but in order to do it in advance, we need to apply this hot, uh, hot fix. So once you um, do that, you need to extract that uh, particular hot fix and you will get this. So um, up here, as you can see, uh, as I was talking about it, there are two um, uh, type of hot fix that we need to apply. One is application and other is kernel hot fix. If you double click on that, this is the setup right here, AX update for kernel. Uh, I would always recommend to do it kernel first before you do it application. So go ahead and run this um, update, uh, kernel update. This would be uh, the metadata, application metadata, as well as the uh, client side. All, all the tools will get up updated with this particular setup. So once you're done with that, you need to go back to application and don't get confused with the same file name and thinking that uh, oh I have already installed it but you go ahead and run this particular um, setup and that will do the application model hotfix uh, for you once you're done with the uh, installation you are going to go ahead and fire up the client go to sys administration and you can see it from the uh, basically up here what uh, uh, it it'll give you a, um, right there a notification that model database is changed and you need to uh, do a particular task and um, I'm putting this video out because uh, it makes it easier for folks that uh, what particular tasks they need to select in order for it to work so first thing that you need to do is you can go ahead and uh, do the initialization checklist and up here, first it'll ask you to prepare initialization, which means uh, restarting your uh, AOS services. So first thing we need to do for this particular hotfix to work, compile the entire application. This will take, uh, depending on your environment, four to five hours, two hours, um, you know, again, uh, it's up to your uh, network and uh, application, how big is your application. So this is uh, the compilation needs to be done first. Once that's completed, then you're going to go ahead and compile into .NET Framework SIL. 
Once that's completed, then you don't need to do anything else. You go to the database section, synchronize database, and you run this. Once this is completed, then your hotfix will work. Now, let's, I have done all three. Let's look at that if my advanced level recording is in place. So you go to uh, File, click Tools, Task Recorder, and as you can see, this task recorder is in advanced level because it is giving us more setting to do. And uh, for lifecycle services, in order for us to record any process in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 and put it on lifecycle services, we need advanced level task recorder. Uh, the basic ta task recorder will give you um, MS Word document and your recording video, but it will not uh, make any. You know, we need a package that we need to upload on Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services and that's why we need this advanced level recording uh, recorder in place. So if you're running um, Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 uh, CU7 it's already in place and R3 it's already in place but this is uh, just the video for Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 and if you see the basic level uh, uh, recorder then you need to install this particular hotfix and then it'll work for you. I hope this video helps.